Welcome back, fellas. You did it. You made it to part three, replying to emails. You guys are doing great. Hang in there. We are almost there. Now, in the previous lesson, we learned about composing right? and how to create a new message. But then there's also replying. Heard of it? I'm sure you did. Well, what's the difference? Right? So replying versus composing. Composing is how I start a new conversation. Creating a new message. Replying, I'm continuing the conversation. Someone has started it and is looking for my response. And so if they're looking for my response, I'm not gonna create a new conversation. I'm gonna just continue. To do that, I'm gonna hit reply. Now, there's a few ways to reply to an email. Some that you may know and others you may not. So if I open up the email and I look in the top right hand corner, I might see a curved arrow pointing to the left. Now next to that curved arrow is an arrow pointing down. And if I simply left click on that, it'll give me a menu. And once I get that menu, I can respond to the email by hitting reply. Or I can scroll all the way down to that email and then I'm presented with three options. My first option, reply. When I hit reply, the email goes directly to the person who sent the email. Now, what about reply all? Did you know that you can send an email to multiple people? Now, instead of me just sending it to directly to one person, I might be sending it to multiple emails, right? So instead of me composing separate emails to every person, I may just hit reply all. And when I hit reply all, everyone sees my message. It's kind of like a group text. If I'm sending a text to multiple people who are considered my friends, I'm not gonna send them individual texts. I'm gonna send a group text message to make sure we're all on the same page. This works the same way. If I hit reply all, I'm sending a message to everyone so that we're all on the same page. And then if I hit forward, I am sending the original email to someone who wasn't on the original email. So I will simply hit forward, and instead of me retyping all the information, all I would have to do is just put the email address of the person I'm forwarding to. Now, when I hit reply, I will get a box that looks like this. Right? And as you can see, there's some differences between this box and the new message box that we were presented with in prior lessons. So in this box, one of the differences, where's the subject? Now you don't have to create a subject when you're replying because you're continuing the conversation. The subject hasn't changed, we're just continuing the conversation. So all you have to do is type your response. So as you can see in the example below, all it's waiting for is your response. The email address of the person you're sending to is right there. You don't have to type it. They're just waiting for your response. So once you type your, your composed email, you then hit send, and it will go to the person that you are intending for it to go to. Now, let's just say I have a text, and I want to send some information from that text and put it into my email. Now, I can waste time going back and forth and typing the information into my email, or I can do something called copying and paste. I know you guys heard that term. I know you learned it in previous lessons. So this is a great way for you guys to save you some time and to get the information that you want inside of an email without having to necessarily type it. So let's just say I have a text and I wanna copy and paste that information. I'm gonna put my cursor in front of the text of the email and I'm gonna left click and hold. When I left click and hold, I can then drag that blue highlight over the information that I want to copy. Once I get to the end of that information that I want to copy, I let go. Once I let go, all I see is a blue highlight. I take my mouse and I right click on the blue highlight. Now remember, when you right click on something, you get a contextual menu every time. In this case, if I right click on the blue highlight, the options that I get, that I do get, one of the options is to copy. So I'm gonna hit and left click on copy. And all the information that I highlighted is now copied, waiting to be pasted. Right. So 
I will go inside of my email and I will simply right click in the main body of that email and I would right click. And again, if I right click, I get a contextual menu. In this case, it gives me the option to paste. And so I'm going to take my mouse and I would left click where it says paste. And when I do that, it would allow me to paste all that information into the text. Now remember, there are two ways to copy and paste, right? So one of the ways to copy is yes, to left click and hold, right click with your mouse and to copy that information. Or you can left click and hold, and instead of right clicking, you can hit Control C. Remember Control C is to copy. Now when I get to my email and I wanna paste it, instead of me right clicking and hitting paste, I can do Control V and it does the same thing. It pastes. It just depends which one you're comfortable with and which one will save you the most time. So either option is fine. Now, just a reminder, if I'm composing an email and I'm using my inbox, I'm replying, I have all this information, personal information in front of me, and I'm now ready to leave, it's important that you guys sign out of your emails. Now in the top right hand corner of your emails, you should see the first letter of your name. You may even see a picture, but it's usually located in the top right hand corner, a large circle with either the first letter of your name or a picture. All you would simply have to do is left click on that image and you'll get the option to either add an account or to sign out. In this case, because I'm leaving and I don't want anyone else to have access to my email, all my personal information, I'm gonna sign out. But for you guys, do not sign out. Still got work to do. You only sign out when you're completely finished and you're ready to go. Now when you guys sign out, you may see this, right? Where you guys, um, where it's asking you to type in the information of your email address to log back in. But we don't wanna log it back in at this point. We are finished. And so we will simply just simply be signed out of our emails and that screen will be there for the next time we're ready to log in. Whew, I don't know about you guys, but I'm beat. Congratulations, you made it to the end of part three. Now fellas, go ahead back into that classroom and go ahead and complete that assessment for part three. We are almost there. You got this. I'll see you in the next lesson.